this is my new laptop asus rog zephyrus duo 16 so this laptop is as far as i know the best laptop that uh, you can possibly buy with uh, money like conventionally like it's the best model Valsogard enterprise improving everything so what we got here well we got my current laptop which i bought like one year and a half ago and that was my first laptop in my entire life and i fell in love with uh, laptops uh, since then and uh, then i immediately started looking into better laptop models and of course asus because i'm sort of a asus fanboy not that much fanboy when it comes to their software i gotta say but anyway hardware i love it i simply love it graphics cards motherboards most of the things are asus and backpack anyway this is my new laptop asus rog zephyrus duo 16 so a little bit of a lengthy name but since i got to know this series of uh, laptops it, it was summer 2021 last year so i was really looking into buying uh, buying a laptop like this i wanted to buy a top-notch laptop like top top grade best everything and by the way this laptop is as far as i know the best laptop that uh, you can possibly buy with uh, money like conventionally like it's the best model um you might say that i'm flexing but look i don't care i've always been that kind of person and still am and i'm probably gonna stay that kind of person who is who is ready to sell his <laughs> to sell his butt cheek like i like i say when i'm joking to say to sell his butt cheek in order to get a good piece of hardware anyway um this is the newest version of laptop and uh, it was announced in uh January this year 2022 and on a CES uh, conference and uh, I was really looking forward uh, to to have uh, an opportunity to buy this laptop and uh, I was following the news and uh, there was uh, this model nowhere to be seen but hey finally late May 2022 and uh, as soon as I saw the laptop that it is available i was like okay i'm buying it yeah I, I waited i waited like just a few days but i was like okay let's let's uh let's pull the plug if that's the proper expression anyway let's start unboxing the this thing and let, tell you what except for monitors this is the biggest hardware box that i had in uh, my life it's it's huge and well the well-known Republic of Gamers logo and uh, obviously I'm struggling here with uh, with spacing because I got my current laptop which I love this is ASUS stuff A15 gaming and uh, this is like I said ASUS ROG Zephyrus Duo 16 lengthy name as I said uh, Duo is because it has two screens actually and I'm really struggling with spacing here but I'll manage I will manage right so um, let me try let me try to <laughs> to take it out from the box okay so that's a box inside a box and we got some zero foam we should have another box which is well here so I guess <coughs> I guess it's fair to say that we are done with this first box which is the biggest box And we got actually another box, which is a uh, uh, palm rest. It's flexible. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this particular thing later on because, well, 
I'm gonna come back to it later on. Um, Styrofoam can get rid of that. Get rid of this as well. Okay, so, um, oh yeah. Another thing that I must not forget is another Logitech G502 wireless mouse. This is actually my third model, my third piece of this particular mouse model. I love it. I gotta say again, a few week, a few years ago, friend of mine, Mate, uh, gave me as a present G502 Proteus Core. And since then I fell in love with this particular model. Actually, then Proteus Core is the wired model. Okay, just to be clear. And then I decided to buy a wireless version of uh, G502. And uh, yeah, this is my third G502 wireless uh, mouse model. And I'm gonna be unboxing that as well. Because, hey, just to prove, just to prove, here's my second one. I got another one on my main workstation, desktop workstation. And yeah, this is the third one which is gonna be used with this particular laptop. Okay, proceeding, um, palm rest. It's actually quite heavy, which, which is good, I think, because it, you need that sturdiness, stiffness. Oh, although, okay, sorry, it's flexible, but it's, you can, you can feel it. It's not gonna be broken that easily. Um, if you wanna hear a little bit of that sound... Ah, there, there you go. Um, so yeah, the best way to unbox a hardware product is to start with palm rest, right? Um, yeah, palm rest. I guess I'm gonna be needing it. Rest my palm. Um, let me see where I can put it. Here. Yeah, it's actually pretty good ma material, gotta say. I like it, yeah. Yeah, pretty good material. Yeah. <coughs> A box that I think I can get rid of. At least for now. Um, right, this is the third box, I, I should say. And here we have the laptop's power supply. It's literally a brick, a brick, literally. And uh, there is another cable which goes into this. And I guess we can, we can do that right now. So let me unpackage it. By the way, many people, when, when I sent them uh, the initial pictures, of uh, the packaging that came with uh, my laptop, they were like, oh yeah, Asus, they always have the best packaging. So, <laughs> well, not the, I'm not the biggest fan of very ultra packaging, you know, this and that, but hey, it, it's, a, it's a nice bonus. It, when you're, when you're I, I, I mean, I guess it's fair to say that it's justified when you're buying something that is worth like, like a car, hardware, hardware piece that is worth few, thousands of euros or dollars whatever i guess it's justified to have premium packaging like this i i won't i won't uh, be nagging about it uh what a packaging this is literally a puzzle for itself okay i found it okay nice plastic oil i can put aside <coughs> power supply and uh, let me untie this cable well because why not pretty standard cable pretty standard power supply although the size isn't standard and it has these additional reinforcements which i actually find i guess i'm gonna find this pretty handy additional well i guess they are reinforcements or they are meant to be used for something electric. I don't know, to be honest, maybe I'm just spitting uh, dumb sentences, but anyway. Um, and well, this is how you plug it in. Uh, 280 watts. 
this is rated at uh, 20 volts and uh, 14 amps which equals to 280 watts so um well this laptop is pretty powerful it has top-notch configuration because just like many other laptop series and lines product lines they have they have different uh product specifications and uh, yeah i'm gonna be talking about this in detail but i opted for the top-notch uh, configuration because yeah why not uh laptop uh, power supply or the brick as it is called well here it is well this is actually longer cable than i would than i was expecting yeah actually let me unhook this i'm probably gonna be buying another one just for the sake of redundancy because i like to have well redundancy yeah i think this is pretty long this equals to something like i'm um, tell you what this is at least two and a half meters at least combined i don't know if you can see it in the in the frame but we got about one meter 120 ish here pl plus the power supply which is about 20 ish centimeters and this cable is I don't know. I think we are talking maybe as long as three meters. Pretty good, pretty good thing. So this is a nice bonus and it's pretty heavy. I'm not kidding. This is literally a brick, but hey, this is just your power supply. So nothing that fancy yet. Uh, uh, power supply put aside. Um, mouse is still here. Second box is uh done with so yeah nice logo and just, just just look at this this is this this particular box you can see what the size of it is and this whole thing is used for the power supply only nothing else inside literally no accessories as you can see no accessories this is this particular box is just for the power supply so yeah, this is as megalomaniac as it gets when it comes to packing things. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm not your professional hardware unboxer by any means. So this is just a, a passion video, or you could you could say a vlog video. But uh, one thing that I want to point out is this is as realistic, uh, as casual unboxing video as it gets i have no affiliates no sponsorships nothing nothing i want to be realistic and this is why i said that asus's software isn't the best but it's it's fine hardware is top notch top notch like had never any hardware related problem with asus in my entire life um so uh which one should we unbox now should we go with uh, mouse or laptop what you say mr camera person majesty. <laughs> his majesty okay so it's gonna be the laptop his majesty and uh, actually this laptop uh, arrived about 36 ish hours ago and i was waiting to be ready to properly film this video that uh, we are currently filming and uh, I was postponing it, postponing the whole thing because I had other tasks, uh, clients and projects to take care of, company to run. But now His Majesty, as we are calling it, <laughs> has waited long enough. And where should I start? Like, this is a puzzle in itself, like I said. Oh, this is very heavy, by the way, so... Yeah, nothing, nothing to be seen on this side of the of the box. Uh, pretty nice graphic here. Like, it isn't that uh, overdone when it comes to packaging. So I like it. I like the balance because hey, I care about functionality. And let's see what experience this is gonna be like.
Okay, finally done with the foil. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna quickly break this foil or mouse's box. I've already done I've already done the unboxing video for this particular model, so I guess we can leave it for now. Um, let's proceed with the laptop itself. Just give me a second to drink just a little bit of water, thank you very much. Yeah, I need fuel because I talk a lot. I talk a lot, but I try to talk uh, smart things. Um, um, pretty nice graphic. Speaking of packaging, right? Again, we got some coordinates, some creative things, some kind of innovative city, something I don't know. Judge for yourself. And you can see that it isn't flat. It's like protruding from the surface here you go here you go and let's open it by the way this particular model is gx 650 rx l0146w which means that it has amd 6900 HX, the top uh, model, 8 cores, from top of my head, 3.3 all cores base clock, 4.9 turbo clock for single core, I think, Thank you, uh, 20 megabytes of cache, up to 64 gigabytes of RAM supported, DDR5, AM, I, I mean, it's not AM5, that's that's for desktop, but hey, D DDR5, RAM memory. Speaking of RAM memory, this particular laptop comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. That should be two sticks of 16 gigabytes. And I'm probably, most probably gonna be upgrading it to uh, two sticks of 32 gigabytes, which would... Uh, maximize the potential when it comes to RAM memory of this particular processor inside this laptop. That would be 64. Yeah, just like I said, uh, 2 times uh, 32 equals to 64. Yeah. Um, another thing that I'm gonna be upgrading is uh, the storage. This model comes with uh, one terabyte of PCI 4.0 uh, NVMe SSD and it has two SSD slots. I don't know what's the specific model, but I'm gonna be upgrade upgrading it to whatever, like two times two terabytes or whatever. That's something that I still have to decide, but I'm gonna be upgrading it no matter what. So the best laptop itself is gonna become even, even better. Uh, now I need to find out how do I open this box. I guess it's it's like this let me see okay I think I found it whoa so this is an experience um, uh, well we got this sliding effect uh, where do I start really um, I guess I can take it out like this and I'm really and obviously struggling with 
pacing, trying not to drop anything, just like some people do. Wink, wink. Um, and uh, except for, I gotta say, a little bit of flex for from my side. <laughs> okay, excuse me, please. I mean, forgive me. Um, except for a few uh, professional reviewers, I think that I'm I might be the only person not sure that has an opportunity to conventionally unbox this laptop. I'm not definitely not the first person to own this model, but uh, it's pretty rare model. That's something that I'm, I guess, proud of. Because I remember a year and a half ago when uh, 3950X, the AMD's top line CPU, came out, I got it on uh, day one of its uh, availability. So, yes, um, I'm ready sometimes to pay, pay that premium for specific brands and specific models. Not always, not always. So, yeah, this is one of the cases. Yeah. Speaking of cases and, uh, well, boxes, uh, I gotta proceed. We got some additional thing. Cardboard. Um, Lord, help me with these boxes. Uh, what is this for? I guess this is a manual. It's gotta be manual. Yeah, I was right. Do, we, do I get some stickers? In search of incredible, this is warranty card. Um, daylight to free game. Well, I'm I. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be gaming a little bit on this laptop as well. Not sure about this particular game, but hi, you never know. Um, uh, this is what this is like. Sort of manual. This is some promo pamphlet or premium something it's in Hungarian um, I'm not Hungarian but uh, I got this laptop from uh, from Hungary and uh, which I definitely don't mind because this laptop of mine all also has uh, Hungarian uh, uh, keyboard layout and uh, which is like a mix of English and Hungarian I don't mind it at all um, well, this is one box. Now I need to see, do we have anything else? I think I don't. I think this is it. It would be quite an awkward thing if uh, there is something more in this box and I forgot to open it. But seems like that's all. Oh, a lot of wasted space, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that was the the boxa itself, um, which I guess I can put aside, or maybe I should leave it like this. Yeah, I guess let's leave it. Uh, the laptop itself. Finally, now how long this video has been filming for? As of right now, it's 23 minutes. Oh my god. Someone is gonna have to edit this whole thing. I'm wondering who's gonna be that. Anyway. Um, like, seriously, packaging is... I said it many times. I know I said it many times, but it's a puzzle in itself. Because it has multi-axis packaging. Yeah, actually, someone, someone might need to brand this like multi-axis packaging like you have it secured from axis from axis x and y and z you know it's as secure as it gets yeah so hardware companies or whoever's gonna be packaging their products keep keep that in mind so multi-axis packaging how cool is that um all right now let me try to beat this packaging so I gotta open this foil. Yes, the sound is pleasing. Yes, it is. I made. I admit. You nerdy guys. Um. Uh. Wow. Wow. 
Uh, I don't know what this particular material being used here, but this is some metal, not plastic. And uh, the finish is pretty nice. Like this has, whoa, this is metal. You see, this isn't plastic. I don't know what kind of material this is. This is some composite whatever but yeah I, I i love it i love it so far it's not your cheap average plastic kind of thingy although this isn't def this is definitely something that you should not be dropping like your average daily activity but uh it's pretty sturdy pretty stiff which is good and uh let me sh oh, i hit the mic for how many times and uh this particular chassis is as in my opinion as well as it gets used when it comes to spacing and you as you can see that i'm positively surprised by this laptop model and uh, now I'm starting to stutter and my English is deteriorating but uh, speaking of uh, usage of space like almost every single inch or centimeter is used in some way we got vent grills here vent grills here three different ports here Vent grills, vent grills, more ports here. A single USB C port. Yeah, it is single USB C port. And now let me actually open it. So here we go. And uh, this is a protective mat or some thing it's pretty nice sort of cloth and as you can see we got double screens and uh, now this is the time where I should oh um, so do we have I'm not I'm not sure about this but this is like some additional LEDs I don't know what kind of uh, information do they display but uh, well something that I guess I'll be finding out um, now let's go through specs I might mix some of them but like I said uh, starting with CPU AMD 6900HX 8 cores 16 threads 3.3 gigahertz uh, base clock 4.9 uh, turbo clock 20 megabytes of uh, cache memory supported up to 64 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 SO DIMM RAM memory this particular model like I said comes with uh, oh I'm casting glare sorry about that guys but well it's it's pretty good don't worry it's it's gonna be good so I'm the only one that uh, can see the glare uh, now, coming back to specs, uh, I said what uh, the CPU, this particular model comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm probably going to be upgrading. Um, 90 watt hours battery, Wi-Fi 6E, so it's like, I, I think it's using uh, 6 gigahertz band. I'm not sure about it. Don't don't quote me on this. But uh, anyway, uh, a bunch of ports that I'm gonna go through uh, soon. Um, uh, graphics card is 30 RTX 3080 Ti Mobile with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 graphics memory or VRAM memory. Uh, now, 
I saw some reviewers, well, you reviewers, they are, they are paid. They would say that uh, this 3080 Ti graphics card is as good as its desktop, which is not. No matter how much I, I'm gonna love this laptop, like it, whatever you wanna call it. Um, mobile GPU can never match the power of desktop CPU. Uh, sorry, GPU. So just to be clear, this is your best GPU that you can get for a laptop, but it's not as powerful as its desktop uh, uh, equ equivalent. When I say equivalent, it, I mean naming equivalent. So uh, I think this can be like on par with 3060 Ti, thereabouts, maybe 3070, I'm not sure. Anyway, very good graphics card, no matter what. It's using, I think, up to 185 or up to 165 watts of power. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify that still the best GPU that you can have in a laptop. But uh, yeah, it's not as as good as uh, 3080 Ti on the desktop, but nevertheless. Uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, VRAM, I love it, GDDR6, so it's not GDDR6X like you would have in uh, RTX 3090 uh, uh, Ti or 3090 in your desktop GPU, but anyway, still pretty good GPU, I'm, let's, let's be clear about that as well. Uh, SSD, I don't know what's the particular model, but I know that it has uh, one terabyte uh, we do have let me show you we do have camera here and we should also have infrared camera over here and uh, well this is important to mention because many laptops actually uh, especially asus's uh, gaming laptops uh, they don't have uh, in, in, uh, integrated uh, camera which is for me it's kind of ridiculous gotta say but this laptop of mine that i'm using for filming this uh, uh lengthy video it has camera my friends my colleagues who bought uh, uh gaming laptops uh, last year for example their models don't have uh integrated camera which i find handy because hey i don't, I don't want to carry around uh, another piece of hardware so this is good thing. Well, inf integrated camera. Uh, now, last year's model was called Z Asus Zephyrus Duo 15. Now, this model is called Duo 16. Well, here's the thing. Last year they had the main screen. I don't know if you can see, but they had the main screen sort of up up here so this middle this lo sorry this lower part wasn't existent and uh, why was it because if you look at the angles how you're looking so let's say that you're looking it from from this angle i hope that you can see what i'm trying to show you so if you're looking at the laptop from this angle and your vision is being cast and you would be seeing this like a like a bezel so because we have this angle engineers decided to uh, make this screen a bit higher longer whatever wider in uh, x axis i think it's x or is it y when it comes to 2d i think it's y yeah it's y axis anyway um and now we have a screen that is 16 inches in uh, diagonal and this particular extra screen is 14.1 inches in diagonal this is your IPS model um, IPS type of panel and uh, Zephyrus has two uh, display versions the other one is the one which has switch uh, uh, switching uh, modes where you can switch between 120 hertz 4k resolution or 
240 hertz full hd resolution and this is that model that version is like for gamers because they love higher refresh rates this particular model is more meant for creators because it has 165 uh, hertz of uh, refresh rate and its uh, resolution is uh, 2560 multiplied by uh, uh, 1440 so yeah mm, what what what's it called the uh, QHD or whatever Anyway, 2560 pixels in width by 100, what, sorry, 1440 pixels in, in uh, height. No, 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 actually, sorry, 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 no, it's 1600. One it's 1600 because the other would be 16 to 9 ratio, but this screen has 16 to 10 ratio because of this extra space so 2560 by 1600 i think i got it right uh, that's about this screen and it is ips which means that uh, has very good uh, viewing angles and i love uh, ips uh, panels they have they are the probably the best for creators the second uh, uh, screen is called uh, screen pad it's, it's like Asus's uh, uh, thing and uh, this one is touch touch so it supports touch it's touch screen it's it it is very good for additional uh, creativity multitasking uh, whatever and uh, I think and I hope that this screen is uh, pretty bright and I'm gonna be testing that because this is something that I'm very very much looking forward to because I love being mobile with my laptop and i'm really taking laptop seriously when it comes to its uh, meaning definition because many people tend to buy laptops and they just take them and put them in their work desks like they are ordinary desktop pieces which is okay but uh, i prefer to be mobile with my laptop to carry it in a, in a in nature in a in a city on my balcony sitting with my with my animals pets cats dogs whatever and uh, one thing that is bothering me is uh, when the sun is is shining uh, well too bright for example in some at some specific time of day and uh, it would be well overshadowing the brightness of uh, my laptop's uh, screen and uh, so i'm hoping that uh, this uh, screen is uh, lit enough to alleviate that problem a little bit now coming down to the rest of things um keyboard now since this video is already very lengthy if you watch the entire video just write in the comments contact me in any way linkedin youtube discord i don't know just find me anywhere just tell me Hey man, I watched your entire video, send me something, I don't know, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be sending something. I'm not promising anything, but hey, I might be might be something, hey, I don't know, I don't know. Um, so just that I don't get sued by anybody or bastard or, or anything, I don't want people looking after me, hey, you promised this, you... no. Um, but well done if you watched the entire video, seriously, I do sincerely appreciate it, thank you very much, I mean it. Now, keyboard, um, it has the same travel length of keys just like my other laptop or maybe it's slightly longer which I find uh, suitable. Um, oh man, this control key is pretty big and this shift key is pretty big as well, yeah. Um, anyway, speaking of keyboard, this is something that almost threw me off from buying this laptop why because well like i said i like to take my laptop uh, in let's say unconventional uncon ways so i would i love to from time to time put it on my lap well hence the name laptops right and put it on my lap and i would be 
I don't know if you if you can see, but I would be well holding it on my on my lap and typing things. So, uh, and I wouldn't have. Otherwise, in your ordinary laptop, you have like this elongated part. Oh, not elongated. Actually, on your ordinary laptop, on your standard laptop, the keyboard would be, well, where this laptop's display is, thereabouts. Something, something, something like this. Okay. Now you would have this whole area to rest your palm. Now this isn't the case uh, with uh, with uh, this laptop. And I realized, man, if I'm gonna buy this laptop, how am I gonna be, where am I gonna be resting my palm? Like, uh, am I, and I think you can already see what am I, what am I talking about? Because my, my hand would be like, like this, it would be way too stiff, way too stretch. I mean, not stretched, like, but, but stiff and squeezed like this. And I can already feel the pain. And I was thinking if, if I would be holding it like this, Man, it would be so so uncomfortable, and the, I, I'm not I'm not kidding. This is something that I was seriously considering before before buying this laptop, and I was I was trying to see uh, what, what's the what's the situation with uh, with uh, palm rest. Like, is it something that can be fixed fixed to attach to the laptop, which isn't the case. It's just something that you bring towards you you align it uh, adjacent toward, toward it, uh, it's nothing to be fixed. However, however, I recently bought a, uh, maybe I should unbox that uh, as well. I'm not, I think I'm, I'm going to skip it for, for now, but uh, I bought myself a, uh, um, well, laptop uh, stand for bed and it, because it, it can be lifted and uh, lifted up and uh, put down and it has like a small like a small bar here because it's preventing your laptop from falling down on uh, on on you and potentially killing you and hurting you no just kidding but uh, well it's holding your laptop against uh, gravity and uh, and so i found out that uh, uh, that extra space of two centimeters is something for the start. So I would have more space to rest my palm. And then I realized, man, I can insert a small piece of wood or something like a, like a separator to get myself even more space. And I can have the benefits of resting my palm just like in any laptop model and still get the benefits of uh, this very compact design which is well full length keyboard actually technically it's tanky less but this pad this is called number pad this is a dual purpose thing which means that you can use it as a number pad and you can also use it as a mouse pad so I love it. This is one of the features that I saw last year that hooked me up to this laptop. Coming back to my previous thought is, uh, like I said, I get to keep this full, the benefits of having this screen, this additional screen, extra, extra ventilation, extra cooling, and this keyboard, uh, which is pretty, pretty compact. And that's, that was the sinker for me. Once I found that I can uh, alleviate this, what would have been problem, because hey, you you could totally argue that's totally fine. You can definitely argue that I'm that kind of special person who likes to well put uh, my laptop on my laps, but and the angle would be would be different problem because I I like to lay in bed for, sometimes to work, but uh, with uh, the a uh, laptop desk that I bought, it's problem solved. I was very happy about it. Um, um, number pad, well, I kind of already explained it. Keys are not small, so they have pretty good size, which I like. Uh, the one thing that maybe I should complain a little bit about, a little bit about, is that the absence of uh, FN or function key on the right side 
which I find uh, pretty useful and handy on uh, my other laptop. But I'm gonna be, I guess I'm gonna be just fine. I still have function button here on the on the left side, so pretty standard laptop uh, uh, keyboard configuration. And we have some additional keys over here. I guess this one is for, okay, so this one, I don't know what it is doing. This one either, I think this is for mouse pad maybe, or this is something for, I, I can see the icon says, this is something for this screen pad plus. Uh, power button, I guess I'm gonna turn it uh, on. If it is charged, which might not be the case, so it isn't charged, I think, or am I doing something wrong? So I guess it's time for me to hook up the power supply. But uh, anyway, this is the laptop. And uh, let me try to find this power supply. Uh, judging by the lights, I think the battery is uh, very low on power. I can actually test that. Okay, the laptop is turning on. I think I can hear it actually. I mean the laptop. Oh yeah, uh, per key RGB lighting. And uh, what else do we have? Ports, yes, I didn't talk about uh, ports. Whoa, well, the laptop has just turned on, as you can see. By the way, I'm not gonna lie, this got me a little bit scared. So, hey, is it, is everything all right? And uh, all of that, so, well, the scares is, uh, the fear is gone, I, I, I should say. And, uh, well, oh, <laughs> one, one important thing to mention. This laptop comes with uh, Windows 11 pre-installed. And this is me experiencing Windows 11 for the first time in, uh, in my life. I'm not a fan, can't, I mean, how can you say that you are not a fan of something that you have never tried out? But I've seen uh, not that good. Uh, yeah, so I've seen fairly negative reviews of Windows 11. But before I continue with uh, setting up the, the laptop, uh, we have per key RGB, which means that you can configure individual keys to shine in different lights, in different colors. Yeah. So I guess I'll be finding that useful when I'm, when I'm, <laughs> I was about to say when I'm gaming in the dark, but when I'm working on projects in uh, in the dark, so I guess setting specific keys to some bright colors so that I can see them easier in the uh, dark. Um, ports, not to forget ports, they are very important. And uh, let's go, so let's start with this side first. So. Um, on this side, um, I guess I'll be able to show it to you. So here, here we have single USB-C port, uh, which is US rated at USB 3.2 Gen 2, 2x2 two two, I think. So it should be uh, 20 gigabit bits per second transfer rate I think uh, on the back on the back let me see 
uh, from top of my head. But uh, let me actually see. Um, we have... Uh, we have, we have, we have... Uh, so, well, I don't have that lengthy arm. So we have here Ethernet port, which is for internet. It's rated at 2.5 uh, gigabits. So it's pretty, pretty fast, pretty good. Uh, in the middle, I think we have a USB port, which is USB 3.2 Gen 2. And since this is USB A uh, port, not USB C, USB A, the square one, it should it's rated it should be rated at uh, 10 gigabits per second compared to this USB C, which is rated at 20 gigabits per second. And then from this side here, I think we have uh, uh, additional HDMI port for connecting uh, external screens. So, hey, you got your laptop, which is already multi-screen because it has, well, two screens. And you can connect uh, additional screens to go bonkers when it comes to uh, workspace and... Uh, if someone is multi-monitor person, multi-screen person, well, I get to be that person. Um, anyway, proceeding with uh, ports. Uh, here we have the charging port. As you can obviously see, this is where I have uh, the power supply connected. Uh, another USB 3.2 Gen 2. USB-A port, which is rated at uh, 10 gigabits per second transfer rate. So, yeah, please applaud me for remembering all the USB ports specifications because, man, USB naming convention sucks. Yeah, and I'm definitely not the first nor the last person to, to state that. Proceeding. Uh, like I said, USB-A port, another USB-C port. Now, this particular USB-C port is the one that has, that supports power delivery. It's rated as, it's labeled as PD, which stands for power delivery. So you can charge this laptop by using a USB-C port. Yes, this is something that I hope that I'm going to be finding very handy. Um, now, although I got to find a powerful enough uh, power bank and the... Uh, uh, high quality cable for that but this is the only feature that I was missing from uh, from this laptop except for that I love this uh, laptop but uh, it just doesn't support power delivery or charging by uh, USB-C and uh, I hope that I'm gonna be finding uh, very good uh, and convenient use cases for for this particular feature um, this is pretty powerful laptop when it comes to well, pretty powerful, the most powerful laptop that you can you can find. Like I said, so don't expect to be working full time when you are charging it just by uh, USB C because this laptop can consume I don't know, but the power supply is rated at up to 280 watts. So giving it a little bit of headroom, let's say 250-ish watts, this laptop is meant to be drawing at max. Anyway, this is like a an additional feature. Don't expect to be working full hours uh, powering from your USB-C or power bank. And we have uh, uh, SD card slot, micro SD card slot, I think. SD card. I'm not using them honestly, so I, I'm I don't know about them, but an additional handy thing. And we have 3.5 millimeter jack. That's it when it comes to ports. So we are done with ports. Um. Uh, one last thing to mention about uh, uh, the keyboard. Uh, this is numpad which is, how, how is it called? Um, I don't know what's the, what's the specific name, but um, it allows you to press this. No, it's not this button. It's not this button. So you have this area. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to 
show you from different angle but you have this this is your numpad and if you click here I think if you can okay you gotta hold it a little bit and now as you can see it lights up and uh, it lights up sorry sorry lights up and uh, now this is your standard numpad and uh, I love it because most of the time I would be using my my mouse and I don't have need or use for for this why not turn it into a numpad right instead of a mouse pad and uh, when when I don't have my mouse let's say that I want to do some quick uh, web browsing and I, I'm just not using my mouse well I can just switch this to to mouse pad mode and uh, continue a normal work um, Speaking of uh, cooling, ventilation, um, well, laptops by default, they are meant to be, I can't say that they are meant to be struggling with, uh, meant to be, like it's a harsh word, but uh, well, laptops have small chassis and uh, well, they cannot match uh, desktop CPUs uh, with tower cases uh, when it comes to uh, cooling, but uh, as you can see, this laptop, I mean this second screen, has a just shy of three centimeters uh, of uh, of uh, clear space, which which makes it easier for the air to to escape from underneath this screen, so it adds extra well ventilation and uh, cooling, and uh, but nevertheless. Make sure that all of your grills and uh, and uh, cooling holes are properly uh, exposed to fresh air, because in that way you will be able to make the best use of uh, the hardware that is inside this chassis. Because otherwise, the hardware would just start throttling down to lower specs and uh, maybe even shutting it down because of uh, overheating uh, especially in uh, hot weather but uh, that should not be a problem and uh, i do have if you can see over here on my laptop i do have this like a like a spacer so i'm definitely gonna be using this uh, for this laptop as well to provide the uh, extra extra uh, clear space for cooling and uh, yeah um, I think that's pretty much it but I'm not gonna cut uh, the video uh, just yet just to unbox the mouse as well and I'm intentionally keeping silent because you guys love to hear this oil sound Yeah, and uh, I know that I'm gonna be enjoying enjoying this mouse because this is my third model of the my third piece of the same model. It's wireless. I'm never gone going back to wired mouse, and should be very well combined with uh, this laptop. Um, what else is? there to be said about this laptop um, I didn't say yes RAM is DDR5 rated at uh, 4800 uh, megahertz yeah 4.8 gigahertz I, I, I think um, yeah so DDR5 and hope my first experience with uh, DDR5 RAM memory and uh, hopefully in the upcoming months I will be able to uh, buy the newest hardware from uh, from probably it's gonna be AMD or maybe Intel I don't I don't know but probably it's gonna be AMD with AM5 uh, 
platform, which is gonna have AM5 socket with uh, DDR5 RAM memory. And this is my first experience with DDR5 memory. <laughs> mm, what else is there to say? Uh, 90 hours, 90 watt hours battery. So don't expect this to last more than three and a half hours developing maybe i don't know I, and, and this is not a bad thing by any means like your standard laptop gets 70 ish watt hours battery but asus is pretty good when it comes to batteries they they give you 90 hours uh, 90 watt hours of uh, battery and uh, for web browsing watching movies this is enough for like seven eight hours maybe maybe even even more but uh, you will you will be when it comes to laptops relatively speaking you will be happy with uh, with uh, battery like this because i do have pretty much the same battery in this laptop which is rated at 90 watt uh watt hours rating so i ha i can definitely say that i have experience with uh, 90 watt hour asus's bat batteries um English United Kingdom. Why United Kingdom? Uh, well, I want a United States. Well, I guess I have to settle with uh, United Kingdom for for the time being. Uh, no, not you. I'm not from United Kingdom. I'm from Serbia. Click Serbia. Serbia is not Siberia, okay? It's Serbia. Just Google it if you if you don't know where Serbia is. <laughs> and can uh, you put layout? United States, United United Kingdom extended. Wow. Where is the United States keyboard? What's Sorbian? Sorbian language. Wow. English. English. United States International. Wait. Oh, by the way, I mean, just just look at the quality of this screen. I mean, this is IPS. This is the IPS magic because IPS panels have very good viewing angles. And I can see over here on my other laptop that you can you can see from this angle this is pretty extreme angle and even i and even i'm looking at from very extreme angles so i i love it so far let me turn it up to the maximum brightness it's pretty bright pretty bright now where is my english united states United States International, thank you. Yes. Add layout. Eh, why not? Okay, added another language layout. Would you... Like to use United States International where it is. Now it's gone again. Here we go. Uh, connect to my network. So Oops, I didn't type it. And it's me here trying not to dox my Wi-Fi password. What a way to secure yourself, right? Next. It's not like you're gonna be connecting to my Wi-Fi unless you come close to my home. But hey. A little bit of additional humor because I'm bad at humor 
in other ways, in other times. Checking for updates, well... Well, it's checking for updates. Definitely a lot of fun with uh, this laptop, I can see in the upcoming times. Like I said, I'm gonna be upgrading it to 64 gigabytes of RAM because Unreal Engine and other development tools uh, tend to be very uh, uh, unforgiving on uh, performances. Um, SSD storage is gonna be upgraded definitely and this is restarting, don't worry, it's alright. Um, RGB, additional thing that uh, I'm gonna find useful. Uh, the biggest things that I'm looking forward when it comes to this laptop is, uh, well, performances in general. Because this is the best hardware spec that... Uh, you can find except okay 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 except for i mean no laptop is no laptop comes by default with 64 gigs of ram but you can upgrade it like there are not that many people who would like to have 64 gigabytes of ram in their laptops many people still don't have it don't use it or don't find use case for 64 gigabytes in their desktop pcs and i i know some people that they have 128 or 256 gigabytes of RAM in their workstations, but laptop, I'm gonna be going with uh, 64 gigabytes. And specific SSD model, I guess it's gonna be Samsung 980 uh, Pro, 2 terabytes probably. And yeah, so this is something that I need to accept that I didn't read. I guess it's a bad thing, but I'm just gonna pretend that I'm reading it. Accept. No, it's it's like I bought this laptop and I'm not gonna accept the the EULA or whatever. No, I'm just gonna return the laptop back. Name your device. I don't know what I'm gonna be calling it. Uh, that's something that I'm gonna do later on because there is gonna be a plenty of time for me to experience this laptop. And main purpose, the only purpose uh, for me buying this laptop is to enjoy the convenience while developing uh, uh, 3D graphics uh, applications, enjoying the job that I that I love doing every single day. So my final thoughts would be so far pretty satisfied with uh, what I've seen. The laptop uh, did turn on just fine. Nothing was, it was scary for the, uh, for the minute, but uh, all fine, all good. And uh, yes, this is me going. How 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 the saying goes? Pedal to the metal when it comes to uh, spending on a hardware, but uh, I don't regret it at all. And uh, this is something that I advise to people: if you love your job, your craft, if you are gonna be uh, earning from it, well, might as well invest it and it's gonna recoup for itself many many times in a short amount of uh, time anyway uh i can see on my timer that it has been one full hour and almost 10 minutes of filming so i don't know what's the length gonna be like when we edit it cut cut it down thank you so much for watching uh this was a pleasure for me filming this video especially since that this laptop model is so rare it just came out it just became available and uh yeah like i said i'm not your average hardware unboxer not i'm pretending to be or trying or wanting to be but hey you might as well consider subscribing because there are other quality videos on uh, our channel and uh, when I say our, it's uh, because, well, a lot of things have happened in the past few months, positive things. And uh, it's going to be like more aligned towards companies like companies channel, which is Valsogard Enterprise. And you will still be seeing me as the main host, I should say. But, uh, well, definitely you should uh, subscribe like our videos share them with your colleagues friends uh, whether you are someone who is into 3d graphics or a hardware enthusiast or maybe into 
3D metaverses, video games, digital twins, whatever, there's gonna be content for you. If there is anything that you're interested in when it comes to real-time 3D graphics, 3D graphics in general, computer graphics, real-time graphics, technology, hardware, business, marketing, things like that, subscribe. And uh, again, thank you for watching. It was really a pleasure and I'm gonna continue setting up this uh, laptop. And uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.